The Indian real estate sector grew at a CAGR of 10% from $50 billion in 2008 to $120 billion in 2017. According to estimates of the research and brokerage firm Prabudha Sliladhar, this is likely to grow at a CAGR of 18% and hit $1 trillion by 2030. And a large part of this growth is likely to come from higher capex spending by the government and private players. The budget 2023, for instance, allocated 10 trillion rupees towards capex higher than the 7.5 trillion rupees allocated for FY23. Affordable housing via Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana also saw a higher allocation of 79,000 crore rupees for FY24, up from 48,000 crore rupees in FY23. The building material sector, which includes segments like paints, tiles, plastic pipes, wood panels, etc., commanded a market size of 1.3 trillion rupees in FY22 and could touch 2.7 trillion rupees by FY26, analysts' estimates suggest. However, Anil Rego of Rights Horizons believes the government's push towards affordable housing and infrastructure remains key. The outlook for the building material sector looks robust with individual segments anticipated to grow between 8 and 12% for the next five years. This is due to urbanization, real estate market recovery, and the increased discretionary expenditure. Residential and commercial real estate organizations have been slowly recuperating since 2021 and are anticipated to expand further. Even though interest rates have risen, they are still below past peak levels, making home loans affordable and hence the sector is likely to continue to grow. However, volatile input costs amid renewed geopolitical tensions cloud the near-term outlook. Ronald Sioni of Sher Khan suggests investors remain selective. Going ahead, we expect as interest rates peak out, and stabilize with a possibility of gradual easing, the real estate sector should see healthy pre-sales momentum to continue. We expect piping players to benefit from healthy demand environment led by raw, lower raw material prices, while wood panel and tile companies are expected to see near-term weakness due to weak exports and oversupply led by higher imports. Although considering near-term demand weakness in some seg- sub-segments and current valuations, we remain selective. Our preferred picks in the sector are Century Plyboards, Greenlam Industries, Supreme Industries, and APL Apollo Tubes. Therefore, the best way to approach this sector would be to look at stocks of companies that have diversified product profiles, healthier balance sheets, and sustainable cash flows. Meanwhile, stock-specific action and global queues will guide investors during the holiday truncated week. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.